back to another episode of You Got Issues. My name is Nadine, and this is the show that's all about you. Now, how this works is you send in your questions, I bring in some friends, and together we try to give you some solid advice to the issues that you may be facing. Now, whilst you don't claim to have all the answers, sometimes the solution you need may just be a fresh perspective. So let's talk. So today's episode is super relevant because sometimes I feel like you blink and five friends are sending you, come and buy my ashwebi. Today we're talking about the things they don't tell you about marriage. And to answer your questions, I have with me two lovely guests. I have Coach Nika to my left. Hello. Hello. Thank Welcome you. to the show. You're welcome. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. Tell them about yourself, please. My name is Nike Falagbade, and I'm a life coach, a family life coach also. I help singles prepare for marriages, and I also help couples navigate challenges and difficult marriages. Fantastic. And we have Omaj Neji. Hi. My name is Omaj Neji. I'm a content creator and a beauty influencer, and I recently just got married. Woo -woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we get into this? Sure. How are you guys feeling about this? Super good, fun. good. Yeah. I love yeah, it. Having Coach Nikia here is very relaxing. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Having okay, you here also makes it very cool. You know, <laughs> love it. All right, the first question. Let's jump straight in. I love, love, love my man. However, he doesn't support my career path because of the exposure and wants me to start another business. What do I do? Bosse from Igwe Phone. Hmm. I'm coming straight to you, Coach Nikia. Hmm. Yeah. So, like I was discussing with her earlier, you know, sometimes when people get married this way, you know that they never had certain conversations. Mm. Or maybe she ignored the red flags, right? But then I also said, sometimes down the line in marriage, people discover themselves. People begin to discover gifts and talent. And, ex you know, this brings exposures, opportunities. So let's assume that she's trying to go into the um, movie industry. Yeah. And you know what happens there. Sometimes they give you an intimate scene and you have to, you know, kiss, you have to romance. Definitely, I know that the husband will not want such a thing to happen. Mm -hmm. So when this is going on, she needs to start with having a conversation. Everything he's saying is based on certain fears and beliefs. Exactly. So you have to look into his mindset. So babe, tell me the issues. Why don't you want me to go into this particular industry? And listen to him without being defensive. Mm. You understand? I agree. Yeah. I totally agree. I totally I agree with everything she said. I mean, I come from like a family with very strong female presence, you mm. know, and I've mm. seen the women in my family be able to achieve their dreams, having the men behind them supporting them. Mm -hmm. And I really think a lot of like chasing your dreams as a woman really comes from support from your man, whoever yeah. the man is, whether yeah. it's your boyfriend or your husband, truly, truly. And you know, there's this thing that my dad always tells me. He's always like, if you want to make a man take off his coats, rather than taking it off him, you know, make the room warm. <laughs> you just don't take it off. So I, I, I second everything Coach Nikkei said. We're going to take a quick break. And after we come back, we'll answer some more of your questions on marriage. You're still watching You Got Issues. My name is Nadine. This is Spice TV. Stay locked. And we're back. You're still watching You Got Issues. My name is Dean, And I'm sitting with the lovely coach Nike and Omaje Neji. And we're asking all your questions about marriage. Now, this next question is a bit of an epidemic in Lagos. <laughs> the question is... Married man and cheating. I'm a lady sleeping with a married man, but I'm no longer comfortable with it. I'm so confused. Should I stay? Should I leave? Mm. So why do you feel confused? Mm -hmm. Because you're feeling guilty. Mm. Or what? Or the money is no more coming. Because the reason for your guilt or the reason for whatever you're feeling determines if you're interested in stopping or not. I mean, what if another man comes with bigger money mm -hmm. and opportunities? Would you go back? Yeah. Right? So we, she needs to start by questioning why she feels like that. When we look at it from the morality angle, oh, is it good? Is it bad? We, we already know the answer, right? Exactly. Because she does not want to get married and have to contend Jeez, with side yes. chicks. But you know, when they start this thing, they will be like, oh, I love older men. They know how to take care of us. That's the excuse. Oh, I need money. I cannot suffer with any man. That's the excuse, right? So why are you into such lifestyle? Is it based on your experiences? Who knows? Maybe... She was molested and she had to go into that you know, circumstance. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's coming from a very poor background and had to fend for the family. Mm. So we're not going to judge her. What we're saying is, why do you now suddenly feel this is not the right way for me? Because that will draw you into the help that you need. Do you see? Now, you also need to get accountable. 
because this is not going to be a very easy one. You're going to always want to go back and forth. You always get things that attract you. So get accountable, go for counseling, go into therapy, check your foundation, heal from childhood trauma, heal from father issues, you understand? Yes. So that you'll be able to go on the right path towards marriage when you're finally ready. So let me allow you to add something. I mean, same thing. Um, I mean, I was literally just single a couple of months ago because you're not single. You're single until you're married. <laughs> mm -hmm. and Which box do you take on the form? Yes, That's the exactly. question. <laughs> and now I'm taking marriage. So I feel like when I was single, I feel like it's it's been very normalized, especially 100%. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It's very normalized to be with like you know your daddy's age mate or something. If I said like there are some like, part of my pigeon, but you get some places where you will go. Go see like your papa age man. He go they talk to you. There are some talk. He go talk. You say if you go catch some cold like that. <laughs> I know. Should I? Should I? Should I? <laughs> but the truth, like she said, when we come when it comes to morality, we already know the answer. Mm. You understand? Everybody already knows the answer. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you need to really heal from trauma. A lot of these things are caused by trauma. A lot of these things are caused by peer pressure as well. Yeah, it's caused by normalization. We see this thing being normalized a lot, mm -hmm. and you now accept it that okay, that's just how life is. But it's actually not how life is. Yeah, mm -hmm. there are other places that if you go to, you see that married men are actually quite faithful th to their wives, and wives are actually faithful to their husbands. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's actually it's it's still enjoyable and it's still peaceful. So, like Coach Nike said, go for counseling, mm -hmm. heal. Heal that trauma mm -hmm. and fix yourself. And make it clear where you want to live. Like you said, you know, ask yourself yes. why you're confused. Because mm -hmm. let's be honest, there are all kinds of decisions that we've made. Maybe I want to lose weight, I want to do this, I want to do that. And the yes. next day you're tempted again and you run back. Exactly. So Temptation you need to know, is real. So real. You need to know why you're leaving. If you need to write it down and say these are the principles that I stand on today, this is what I cannot do anymore. So the next time, like they said, you bring, they bring US dollar, the economy is choking your neck. Maybe you look at your list again and you mm -hmm. say, no, I no longer want to do this. Yes. Maybe because you're starting to feel like when I get married, I don't want to have trust issues yes. because I know what I was like when I was younger. Exactly. You don't want to be paranoid. I feel yeah. like that's one thing you really don't want to deal with in marriage. Like, oh my God, checking your husband's phone. Exactly. Checking yeah. you want to his Instagram password. You have this. No, mm -hmm. girl. Like, you don't know. Who's that? Like, Who's that? that? Exactly. Sure. <laughs> he has a meeting with a sexy woman. You're already shaking. Like, yeah. Hey, 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 God. It's like, exhausting. Who wants to, mm -hmm. who wants it's to not worth it. It's not worth and it. And I think as well that one thing I know about life is whatever you believe is possible for you, you will receive. Yes. Whatever you think of life will come to you. If you think yes. that the men out there are only married, all the married, all the mm. good men are married off. If you think that all men cheat, they're unfaithful, so why does it matter? Let exactly. just be part of the cycle. Mm. That is all you'll see. But if you step out of that circle that you're in, and you start to mix with people who think differently, you start to tell yourself that, no, I will marry a good man, mm. and I can be faithful to him, and he'll be faithful to me. That is exactly what you'll receive. Mm. I think it's also really important to establish a list of why you want to leave. What you said is correct about why are you confused? Why are you feeling like I can't be doing this anymore? Because the truth is we've all been in situations where we said I want to lose weight or I want to do this. I want to start a savings plan. But the moment you see that fine bag, <laughs> it's all out the window. But you need to know why you've decided to make that decision. And if you're someone who's out there who's looking to get married or looking to be better in your marriage, I hope this encouraged you or gave you some answers to some issues you may have been facing. My name is Nadine. This has been You Got Issues. And we're looking forward to seeing you next time. But before we go, where can they hear more from you, Dr. Nike? Where can they hear more from you, Coach Nike? <laughs> that, that's like futuristic. I'm right? praying for you. you. Can follow me on Instagram at Nike Folagbadi or just go to my website, nikefolagbadi.com. And you can keep up with me on Insta and TikTok and YouTube at Omaji Brand and at Omaji underscore. Love it. You can follow me at the Nadine or Different on Instagram and follow us at Spice TV Africa everywhere. See you guys next time. Bye.